Today is day eight. That was just unfortunate timing. I'm a little bit tired, so it's it's been a little bit of a day. Uh, but I mainly wanted to talk about, instead of kind of how the day's going and everything, I just wanted to talk more about how I'm feeling with this uh, challenge because now I've been doing this for over a week, a week and a day now, and I just kind of want to let you guys know how is it going? Has I Have I noticed anything small kind of change? And so with that, I'm going to get into doing this. And so one thing I have noticed is I am very more keen to understand to recognizing that I'm saying a lot more ums and so's and a lot of those filler words I have noticed that I've I've noticed that I have done better at trying to take more pauses than going um through the pause another thing that I have noticed that I do a lot is I do a lot of hand gesturing and to be honest, when I'm talking to somebody in real life, this is how many, this is honestly how much hand gesturing I do when I really get into a topic. So I don't know if that's really something I want to fully stop, but I also don't want to get too animate, like animated and kind of over exaggerate everything that I do. I want to be just more kind of like we're old friends and we're just having a conversation and so I don't want to keep doing too much but I also know that hand gesturing is part of who I am when I talk about things because it allows me to emphasize things when I'm when I'm doing anything really and I also guess it's kind of like a quirk of mine to be like always using my hands to kind of like emphasize things. I. <laughs> I'm very silly at, in nature and so it just kind of plays along with that. Uh, what else have I kind of learned? Oh, another thing that I've been kind of doing a lot better is I'm able to, because I've been recording more with my phone, I'm able to kind of get the placement of where I need to sit better and kind of write without really needing to record a little bit, see where I sit, and then record again uh, once I know I have a good spot. I'm actually saying this, hoping that I have <laughs> the, the like area correct. I'm in the middle because that'd be kind of funny if I was off to one side or my head was chopped off for this whole entire video. That'd be a very interesting video. <laughs> and so hopefully I'm doing that still good with this one, but that's something I have noticed is I'm able to find the depth that I need to sit at and kind of getting the right framing of things. I still have to work on getting the lighting right. That is going to be part of the just atmosphere I'm in. There's, I don't have a lot of extra lighting to bring with me because I am traveling only with one bag and a duffel bag that's shared between my boyfriend and I. And so that kind of makes it hard for me to like have lighting that is purposeful or meaningful 24 seven. And I have to kind of play around with the lighting I have, which is the lights in the ceiling or the sun. And so it's like, I'm playing around with those and seeing what I can do. It, and I do want to become more creative with it and learn more kind of like key details on how to fully do it better because I know I'm not going to always have the optimal spot for it, especially with traveling. Traveling's not going to make this easy. But I want to learn how to do this because if I can do it while I'm traveling, imagine how much better. <laughs> imagine how much better I can be when I actually have something to dedicate light with and to use. And <laughs> the fireworks are kind of making it. Really, 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 really. The fireworks are kind of making it really hard to focus. I'm going to be, I'm going to be honest, they go off at very random times. 
unless if you're doing a video, then they start up instantly. Um, <laughs> but I digress. So lighting is a big thing that I do still want to work on because I don't even think I'm sitting in the most optimal spot for lighting right now. Uh, the light's like right up above me this way and so maybe if i if i'm looking maybe i should just do the whole video looking up like this but then that wouldn't be very like interesting for you guys and i blame myself with that light <laughs> so so that's kind of the example i wanted to give anything else what else have i learned so far with this a big thing I've actually learned is how many people feel the same way I do when it comes to like the, just trying to record yourself and wanting to be a little bit like more into recording and being more confident in it. It honestly surprises me that I got like a few people who are really interested in watching the challenge so far and to see how things are going because they are struggling to be confident in front of a camera as well and I knew that there was other people out there and I'm really happy that it reached a lot of you guys that how are interested in this and want to build the confidence and understanding the like maybe understanding like what I can do to help and everything and so I think it's just amazing that we, I was able to connect with these with you guys and just feel like I'm not so crazy if that's like the best way to put this like I just there are times where I feel like I'm going crazy when I think these things but it's great to in a way it's great to hear that I'm not the only one if that makes sense and I appreciate everybody who has posted a or has left a comment with and just even if it's the most random bizarre things like yeah, I'm I'm <laughs> I'm just really happy that I can help other people and that's kind of the biggest thing I want to do with this like channel is just help people improve, learn the lessons I've learned and improve their lives. And so I'm glad that the series at least has been getting quite a few views of like people wanting to see how things go. So thank you for watching and I am so grateful for all of you guys who watch and leave comments. It means a lot to me. With that, I think I kind of covered the majority of it. It's still a little hazy what all the different things are, but that's kind of a little summary of what I think after a week of doing this has kind of felt like and what I think is going pretty good and what I could probably still work on. So, all right. Oh. I forgot I was sitting on the edge of the bed. I almost fell off the bed. <laughs> Alright, with that, I'm going before I fall again.